Don't know if they'll ever get used to our love story. Hey, Jason Dotley, how are you? Hello, Erica Cobb. I'm fantastic. How's New York? New York's amazing. I love yeah. it. Yeah, I really do. I'm well, because I'm jealous because we're supposed to have this New York experience together. Well, hello. I got a I got a, a big bed. Um, we're both <laughs> tiny people. <laughs> Come on. I'm like, just warm up the city for me. I'm sure we'll, we'll get it ready. So speaking of warming things up and things being really hot, right now things are going so well for you. It's Our Night has, what, a half a million views? What's going on with that? Uh, getting close, right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think some people are watching it multiple times trying to figure out exactly what's going on in the video. Because <laughs> uh, it's a little confusing. Um, and, you know, I have uh, just, I guess, after four or five singles now and, I think it's definitely my best music video um, that has just piqued some interest. So I don't know. I'm just grateful. That's all I got is gratitude. Well, I, I mean, amen to that. But there's so much going on. I, I feel like a lot of it might have to do with how inclusive everything is, especially with the Love Story Project. Obviously, you're including your fans and you know people who have a story to tell along with you. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, the Love Story Project has gone from has gone from a tiny idea into something that's every day. I, my mind is blown by how expansive it gets right now. What I'm doing with the love story project is my album is called love story because the album starts with, um, saying goodbye to one relationship and then falling in love. And it tells my love story. And, um, the title track is called love story. And I thought a few weeks ago when people on Facebook changed their profile pictures to the equality signs, that I had an opportunity with this song and this video to stand up for what I really believe in, which is obviously equality for everyone. And um, what I've done is I've started interviewing gay couples and um, I take submissions of pictures of gay couples. And my idea is love to me is our greatest asset and love is what it's going to take to conquer all of this. And we've done a really great job in the past of putting a face on gay so that, you know, I mean, for the longest time, like when I was growing up, all I knew of gay was Richard Simmons and Madonna. I mean, no disrespect <laughs> to Richard Simmons, but you know, there weren't, you know, my, I didn't know if my neighbors were gay or my uncle or my cousin. And in the last 20 years, there has been a fantastic effort, a successful effort in putting a face on gay. Yet we're still up against a wall when it comes to gay marriage all the things that involve love, now that's the issue. So I figure it's now time to put a face on gay love. Now, you and I know that gay love and straight love is exactly the same love, but apparently that's not getting through to everybody. So with the Love Story Project, I'm literally taking my song, I'm incorporating snippets from interviews, like really touching moments, audio into the song. You see my love story in the video, but it's set against thousands of images of other love stories. So in effect, what I'm doing is I'm telling our love story. And the end goal is to show the magnitude of our love, because I think that is what we have to show next. We have to show that our love and your love is the same love. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um, so how do your fans and, and people who are, you know, just really interested in being one of those faces join this project? Um, if you go to the Indiegogo page for the Love Story Project, just go to Indiegogo.com and then search for the Love Story Project. There's tons of information about where to email me your picture. If you're interested in doing an interview, you can email me as well. Many people who are sending pictures are also scheduling interviews. And I've had some of the most touching stories. Now I, the airport. Yes, I picked him up. Actually, it was in Copenhagen. We landed, and then we had to go to Sweden. But uh, I waited for him to come out of the doors from the international arrivals. And uh, I tell you, that was probably the, the, the best part of my, my whole life was that moment, waiting for him to come through the doors. And as soon as those doors opened and I saw him, for the first time in person, I mean, my heart just, it fell. My heart yeah. fell. Um, but, yeah, that was it. And he dropped me off at home, and... One little kiss and it was over. <laughs> so then the first words that I said to him was, I love you. And I, I emailed it to him uh, in a QuickTime file. And uh, 
<laughs> that was the first thing he heard from me. <laughs> yeah, just go to the Indiegogo page, and it's all laid out there. More information than you need. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, another part of the love, of the love story project is it all culminates with um, the love story experience, which is a live show. Um, the first one on the books is July thirtieth in New York City at um, XL Cabaret, and the love story experience will be a combination of local artists um, doing work around the theme of love, and then the main part of the show is I perform live my entire album of love story. So. You get the live experience of my love story. And there will also be highlights from my interviews on video screens. My goal is simply to use the greatest tool that we have, which is love, to change the world. And I believe that love is understanding. And I believe that understanding leads to not having fear. Because you can't have love and fear at the same time. I don't believe they can coexist. So if we can override the fear with the love, then we can win. And I'm up for the challenge. And I can bring my show to Denver. I know a really fantastic producer in Denver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> um, this fantastic girl named Erica. A very oh. glamorous girl named Erica. Nice. Darling. <laughs> well, I, as I said before, I'm just, I'm really, really proud of you. And, you know, I miss you. And I just love following everything that you're doing. I think it's such an amazing concept, so I'm glad I had a chance to talk to you. Well, I appreciate it, and I will see you in Denver. Tell the boys yes. there I said hello, and tell your lovely, your lovely man I said hello to. Uh, you gonna say hi? Oh, hi. <laughs> he's <laughs> over there. <laughs> Spread the love, Jesse. Um, yeah. All right, babe. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,